Hi everybody, my name is David Eber, and I'm going to do a product comparison on a new piece of sporting equipment that is sweeping the world, performance mouthwear. Professional athletes have known about this technology for a few years, but only recently has it become available to the general public. There are two main teams in the performance mouthwear arena, the Macker Advantage, also known as the Pure Power Mouthguard, and the Under Armour Performance Mouthwear, invented by a company, Bite Tech. In this introductory video, I wanted to compare the claims that both companies make the research they have to back those claims up, and the patents they have based on their research and protecting their technology. Let's begin. First we look at the Macker Advantage. As you can see here, they claim to increase strength, improve balance, give you explosive speed, improve agility, and give you more training endurance and recovery. It all sounds pretty good, and let's be honest, what athlete wouldn't want to have increased athletic performance? Unfortunately, I was only able to find one research study on the PPM, or Pure Power Mouth Guard. Let's read the conclusion of their findings. A neuromuscular dentistry-based mouth guard appears to enhance peak power output and performance in explosive, short-duration bouts of exercise. However, it does not appear to enhance sustainable power output or muscular endurance. There may be some practical value for athletes in power sports. Wow, to say the least. No sustainable power output or endurance? Although it does appear to enhance peak power output and performance in explosive, short-duration bouts of exercise. So, for all of you sumo wrestlers listening out there, this might be the key you need. Let's get back to their claims. Increased strength? Eh, not exactly. Improved balance? Well, it didn't even mention that, and if they didn't research it, how can they say it? Explosive speed? Okay, I tell you what, I'll give them that. We're going to be generous. Performance in explosive, short-duration bouts of exercise. Eh, I guess that sounds okay. Agility? Once again, no research. Training endurance and recovery? Yeah, not exactly. Anytime it says that it does not appear to enhance anything, well, you get what I'm saying. Pretty incredible, really. But let's take a look at the competition. Under Armour Performance Mouthwear. What do they claim? Increased strength, up to 20%. Increased endurance, faster reaction times, decreased lactic acid, increased the airway opening, lower heart rates during warm-up running and cool down, and decreased cortisol, the stress hormone. Sounds pretty good and pretty similar. Actually, what I like here is that they actually tell you what they are affecting in the body to improve athletic performance. Decrease lactic acid, decrease cortisol, and increase the airway? Yeah, pretty simple, really. But can they back it up? Turns out they can, and with relative ease. You can find all the company's research right on their website, bitetech.com, B-I-T-E-T-E-C-H.com. Over 10 years' worth of research at a plethora of accredited institutions using double-blind, placebo-controlled studies. Most importantly, all this research has been peer-reviewed and published in a well-respected dental journal. So, how do their claims stack up to their research? Yeah, that's a lot of green dots, as you would expect. Fast reaction times? Absolutely. Increase the airway, lower heart rates, and decreased cortisol. Finally, last but not least, patents but I think you know where this is going. That's right, 48 to 1 in favor of the Under Armour Performance Mouthwear and Bite Tech. Well, at least it wasn't a shutout. PPM does have one patent pending. Well, really, my hat's off to Under Armour for due diligence, well done. Make sure you turn in for part two where we go over the products from each company. Thanks for listening, and this is Mr. Eber signing out.